One Silicon Valley startup is giving literal meaning to the phrase product launch. The experience of being in the Zeppelin is like nothing else you've experienced before. It's kind of like floating, it's kind of like sailing. At a time when consumers are cutting back on spending, Alex and Brian Hall are embarking on a new luxury business, Airship Ventures, which offers the first passenger flights on Zeppelins in the U.S. since the 1930s. The 250-foot airship looks like a blimp and can hold 12 people. On a recent flight above Silicon Valley, Brian told us it's meant to feel like a return to the romantic era of travel. You know, you're not being transported, you're not being frisked and probed and prodded and crammed in. This is what travel was meant to be like. And, and if you look back at the airships of the 30s, they were basically the luxury liners of the day. Before its tragic end, the Hindenburg was the fastest way for well-heeled passengers to cross the Atlantic. But in 1937, its fiery disaster halted the use of Zeppelins until now. Whenever we talk about the fact that this is a Zeppelin, uh, we usually get people talking about, oh, the humanity, and they remember <laughs> the Hindenburg, and uh, we've, we've become pretty used to that. As we explain to people, uh, the Hindenburg was using hydrogen, which if you remember back to your school days, is a flammable gas. Uh, we're using helium, which is inert. That means that it doesn't catch fire. After starting up almost two years ago, Airship Ventures just kicked off its first flights. The hour-long tours leave from Moffett Field in Mountain View, California, or out of Oakland International Airport. They float over Silicon Valley, San Francisco, or the wine country. And many people have said to us, you know, are you guys crazy? You're starting a luxury tourism business. People may have questioned the founders of Airship Ventures' decision to start up their service now. Even at $500 a head, it is well worth it to float over the Bay Area. For Market Watch at Moffett Field, I'm Therese Paletti.